Hey everyone, so I have this really quick and super cute stamping nail art to share with you guys. When I say like it's easy, it's easy and you know what, sometimes I really love easy nail art and then sometimes I love more intricate designs. So if you'd like to see how I came up with this look, make sure to stay tuned. <laughs> So to get this nail art started, I am going to go in and prep my tips with the Gel-X Prep. Okay, so next I'll be going in with this gorgeous blue by Magic Gel. This is called Ultramarine Blue. I love this color, it's so pretty. Okay, you cannot tell me this is the perfect this isn't the perfect blue for the simple design that I'm looking to do. So next I'll be going in with Magic Gel's Emerald Breeze number 244. And this is like an iridescent multi-size glitter gel. And this has like iridescent glitters in it some hollow glitters in it. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on each of the nails. I mean, these two paired together actually is stunning. <laughs> So everything has now come out of my lamp so I am going to go ahead and just quickly apply some matte top coat over the nails as I am going for almost a matte look and I want to do some stamping so you know it's easier to well for me anyway to stamp over a matte surface. And the matte top coat that I will be using today is going to be my Ugly Duckling Matte. <laughs> So these have been in my lamp for two minutes and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the dispersion layer with some cleanser and then we'll get into the nail art. Okay, so for this stamping nail art, I will be going in and I will be using my You Are Beautiful 16 stamping plate. So as you can see, it does have quite a wide range of like snowflake images and because it has now gotten really cold where I live in Toronto, I figured that this would be absolutely perfect for winter. I'm also going to be going in with my clear jelly mini stamper. As you can see, this is just the smaller version to the 
Hilaire okay, Jelly Stamper Big Bling. But because I'm like, with the images that I want to use, like I'll be picking up, I know I want to use this one for sure, and this one. And if I use the bigger stamper, obviously when I scrape the stamping polish, I might pick up pieces of the other images when I could just have a more direct placement, I guess I want to say. Yeah, of the snowflake image that I want to use. And I am going to be going in with these three colors to stamp with. I figured that these would work perfectly for what I'm trying to achieve. So I'll be using number 80, number 222, and number 166. <music> the nails that I did the stamping I am gonna go in with magic gels tackless glass finish this is my favorite top coat to use for stamping especially for stamping <music> the stamping and the glitter underneath. It is so pretty. And the glitter is almost like a peekaboo. So like, you know, you shift your nail and you get a little dance of the glitter. I really, really love this. <laughs> final look guys i adore how these come out i think these turned out really really cute they're super simple but the glitter behind the stamping really does give it like that extra oomph and does give it a bit more flair in my opinion anyway and it kind of gives it like almost like a reflective kind of look and then i opted to leave the two fingers the middle and the ring finger matte just because i didn't want to make everything the same and I kind of wanted to also show off the glitter and I really like the glitter matte as well but yeah I really really love how these turned out and it was super quick and super easy you guys can do it too and here we have it guys for this quick and easy winter snowflake stamping nail art so let me know what are your thoughts is this something that you would wear is it snowing where you are because yeah it's not snowing today but we did get some snow I really, really loved how this turned out, and I think it looks really good um, keeping the two nails matte as, like, for example, the accent nail. But again, it's up to you. You could have mattified all of them, or you can make all of them glossy. Really, really, the choice is yours, but I just 
love how these look so let me know if this is something you would wear in your nails as always guys if you have any comments and or questions please make sure to leave them down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible and as always i will have everything that's still available <laughs> linked down below for you guys as well please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do post more content. And if you know anyone that would be interested in something like this, go on ahead and give it a share. And until next time, stay glamorous. Peace.